Smart Culture, Mathematics. Let's take a look at this first example. So what we have to do is we have to simplify this root. So what we'll do first is we'll write the number 16 as a product of its factors. So we can write 4 squared. Remember, 4 times 4 is equal to 16. Now we have this root and we'll change it to fractional exponents. So we'll write 2 divided by 2. And then the exponent of y, we'll write 2 divided by 2 as well. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So the exponent of 4 will be 1 and the exponent of y will be 1 as well. So the final answer will be equal to 4y. Let's take a look at another example. Here we have to simplify the square root of a to the power of 12. What we'll do is we'll change this root to a fractional exponent. That means we have to divide the exponent of 12 by 2, and that equals 6. So the final answer will be equal to a to the power of 6. Let's take a look at the last example. So here we have the square root of 256, a to the power of 6, and b to the power of 12. So we'll write the number 256 as a product of its factors. So we'll write 16 squared. Now remember, 16 times 16 is equal to 256. The number 256 is a perfect square. So let's write the fractional exponents. We have to divide the exponent by 2 since this is a square root. 16 to the power of 2 divided by 2, a to the power of 6 divided by 2, and b to the power of 12 divided by 2. The exponent of 16 will be 1, the exponent of a will be 3, since 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3, and the exponent of b will be equal to 6, since 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. So the final answer will be equal to 16a cubed b to the power of 6. For online tutoring or additional resources, visit our website, www.smartculture-education.com. Subscribe down below. It's easy.